people in Zoom, we're meeting as unto you. And Lord, we pray that as we spend this short period of time together around the Lord's table, that Lord, we would once again understand everything that you've done for us. Lord, so come, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I spoke this morning about it being a new year and a new start. Um, and I guess how that, you know, every time we come to this time of year, we think about the coming year and the year that's gone. But you know, the, the Lord's table was the new covenant. It was a new start, it was a new beginning, it was a new opportunity for mankind. Um, you know, up until then, it was all about the law and legalism and, and trying to ensure that, that they kept the law. And of course, the Pharisees and the Sadducees just added more and more levels to that, and more and more detail that made it harder for the people to to live and, and suddenly, suddenly Jesus appeared and uh, demonstrated the kingdom of God. And then on that night that he was betrayed, he took the cup and he explained to them. And, and I like, you know, I like to read John's account of how Jesus opened up that space and that time with his disciples for teaching. And, um, and now he began to unpack that this was the new covenant. This was his body that was broken for them. And that the cup was about his blood being shed on their behalf. And, and, and suddenly the old was done away with and the new had come. And just as the old years gone and the new's come, in one sense, this was far, far more, obviously we know, far more impactful for the whole of mankind. Suddenly, man had the opportunity of reconciliation with God. Not through anything that he could do, because he couldn't ever do enough. But suddenly, God made a way through his only begotten son for man to be reconciled to God through the new covenant. And I, I sometimes think how blessed we are to have been born this side of the cross. Yeah? To have been born this side of the cross. You know, not to have to think about all the details that the law had put in place. And, and the fact that we as Gentiles you know, I have a privilege this side of the cross to be grafted in, to be grafted into God's family. And, um, you know, we once, when we were in Zimbabwe, we had an orange, we had a, a lemon tree. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this lemon tree had been grafted in to an orange tree. Yeah, which sounds strange, doesn't it? Yeah, and I, I, asked a, I asked a farmer, why would that be the case? He says, because the branches of a lemon tree are not strong enough to sustain the fruit. And he says, so they graft the lemon tree into an orange tree because the, the branches are stronger on an orange tree. And of course, we are grafted in, the word of God talks about us being grafted into Jesus Christ. Yeah, and we get our nutrients and our substance through him. He is far stronger than we could ever be. And yet we have been brought in and we've been grafted in to that. You know, and, and how wonderful that is that we are born this side of the cross, the opportunity to have this incredible relationship with Jesus Christ. And so we're going to come around the table of the Lord right now. And we're going to break bread and we're going to take the wine. And maybe just, I'm just going to give us 30 seconds just to think about what it means at the beginning of this year.
for us to partake, maybe the first time we partake in the emblems this year. Together. Yeah. Yeah, we, we have been brought together for a plan and for a purpose in Jesus Christ. You know, we, we are from all different ages, all different backgrounds, social, economic, nationalities. But God has brought us together and grafted us into the family, all of us, for a plan and a purpose in Christ Jesus. Yeah? And, um, and how wonderful that is. You know, just over a year ago, we knew none of you. Yeah? But now we're getting to know you and you're getting to know us. And how wonderful it is to do life with you, to church with you, be together. Yeah? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about what God wants to do in us and through us in this year. So, Lord, we thank you for this bread. Lord, simple. A piece of bread. But as we partake it, it means so much more. Lord, and as we break it, we think about your body that was broken for us upon the cross. And we partake it. Lord, being very thankful. Lord, in remembrance, in a proclamation. As Dave said last time when Dave led us, Lord, a proclamation of what you have done to the world around us. Take it, receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. And likewise, that night he took the cup. And after giving thanks. So Lord, we thank you for this cup that represents your blood that was shed for us. Lord, we've said it many times, but we'll say it again. Without the shedding of the blood, there could be no remission of sin. <laughs> Without your death, we could not have life. And so, Lord, we thank you that we have been cleansed by the blood of the Lamb of God. That we have gone through an exchange of our unrighteousness for your righteousness. And we stand before God, clothed in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Lord, it is the new covenant. Lord, the old has gone. <laughs> no more is there any need for a sacrifice. Bulls and oxen and sheep and doves. Or no need is there to come in that way. But Lord, you have made a way. <laughs> the new covenant. Bought for us by the most incredible price ever. So thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray for each person here. Lord, thank you for them. Thank you for the year that is ahead of us. Keep each and every one of them safe. Lord, put, the rain, put your angels to guard around them. Lord, presence yourself. Lord, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. You live in us and through us. So, Lord, help us 
to be your ambassadors. We pray in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.